Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll show you how much solar power you really need to charge your electric vehicle at home. This is crucial for those of you looking to embrace a greener lifestyle. So stay tuned. So you've got an electric vehicle or maybe you're planning to get one. Fantastic choice. But here's the burning question. How do you ensure your solar setup at home can handle your EV's charging needs? Well, fear not. I'm here to break it down for you with some easy calculations. Before we delve into the calculations, I want to quickly mention that I've added a link in the description to some excellent home solar system kits. These could be really useful for your EV charging setup. Feel free to check it out after this video. Now, let's get back to our main topic. First, let's understand what we need to consider. There are four key factors. The range of your EV, its battery capacity in kilowatt hours, your daily driving distance, and the amount of peak sunlight hours your location receives. Let's take a hypothetical example. Imagine you own a modern EV with a range of 300 miles and a battery capacity of 75 kilowatt hours. You drive about 40 miles daily and live in a sunny state like California, where you get around 5.5 hours of peak sunlight. Step one, calculate your RV's energy consumption per mile. Simply divide the battery capacity by the vehicle's range. For our example, that's 0.25 kilowatt hours per mile. Step two, multiply this figure by your daily commute. In our case, that's 10 kilowatt hours per day for a 40 mile drive. Finally, how much solar power do we need? Divide your daily kilowatt hours consumption by the peak sunlight hours. For our example, you'd need a 1.8 kilowatt solar system. But remember, this is an ideal scenario. Real world conditions like system efficiency and occasional shading mean you should add a buffer. I recommend increasing this by about 20% to be safe. So in our example, instead of 1.8 kilowatt, aim for a 2.2 kilowatt solar system. This ensures you're covered even on less sunny days or when your system isn't at peak performance. So there you have it. If you've got more questions or want to see more content like this, let us know in the comments below. And before you go, please hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.